hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using photoshop before any further ado let's get started here i'm going to use a5 paper size then and my resolution is going to be 300 then you create all right so here we go these are the background images i'm going to use drag this one into photoshop then you scale it out drag it over here okay go to your blur gaussian blur then make it 19.4 all right then blend it to multiply why i did that is because i'm going to apply a solid color later then you drag this image then go back to your blur Gaussian blur then apply 9.4 on your blending mode change it to linear bond your opacity make it 17 all right then go back again to apply this image scale it a bit then change it to overlay then your opacity 55 apply your layer mask then you blend over here You come back here again and blend it all right then go back again and bring this image move it over here then change the change it to pin light then your opacity change it to 19 okay apply layer mask then you blend over here and and this side select your brush change it to soft brush then you clean up this area blend it here all right okay it's okay like this then i'm going to bring this image then move it up change your blending mode to multiply your opacity make it 20 okay then apply a layer mask and you blend over here all right then i'll bring this dove image then move it to the top here Change the blending mode to overlay. Okay, this is how it looks. Then I'll take this light over there, rotate it.
then change it to screen. Okay. Then blend over here. Select the other one, apply a layer mask, then you blend it again. So this is what I have. Then now I'm going to copy this color code. Select here, go to your solid color, then Ctrl V to paste. So this this is what I have. Alright. So now here are the fonts I'm going to use and the test. Copy the church name. Change the color to white. Position it here. Then change the font. I will leave all the fonts in the description link so that you download them and make use of it. Duplicate, Ctrl J. Then copy your color, I mean your text, sorry. Then apply a space to the character then centralize it copy your test again Then before then, I'm going to group the background. Then group this one. Then continue. Duplicate, Ctrl J. Then drag it down over here. Highlight it and Ctrl V, Ctrl v to paste. Then scale it out. Close the scale outer space. Then you centralize it. Then I'm going to change this font to beautiful rose. Then duplicate. Then change the color to red. Then use your mouse to move it forward. So this is what I have. Duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then highlight it. Then copy this test here. Then Ctrl V to paste. I'm using the font Bebas here. Then centralize the test. Nice vertical alignment. Scale it out. 
can use your arrow key to move it up it's okay for me in this position then change the fonts again reduce the size then shift it up change the color to white then you duplicate it ctrl j then you change the color again to red use your arrow key then to move it forward all right then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl j then drag it up bring it down position it over here highlight it copy your text over here then ctrl v to paste then move it up like this okay now come back again to copy your text here then ctrl j to duplicate then you paste then open the character space by zero then you reduce the size All right. Then centralize it. Shift it up. Then expand it and just increase the size this way. All right. Okay, then reduce this one, it's okay like this, then reduce this one again, then shift it up, apply vertical alignment, then control D to deselect. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this one over here, position the light here, then drag it to this place, then change it to screen, then blur it to 4.3, okay. Then use your brush to clean up this area. Okay. Then zoom out and zoom in to see how the work look. Now shift it up so that you have enough space. Now group it, Ctrl G. Then you group this one, group this one. All right. Then bring the image. Then reduce the size, posi position it over here. Okay.
and come here to copy your test, Ctrl C, select your test tool, and you Ctrl V to paste. Reduce it. Okay. Now draw a rectangle over here. Apply red color. Then reduce the opacity. Then come here to copy the pastor name. Duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then you drag it down over this position. Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to reduce this one again. Then hold your shift key to drag the rectangle. Okay. So zoom out to see how it look. All right. I'm going to position it over here. Okay. Then I'll bring this icon, then reduce the size, position it around here, then change it to white. Select your test tool, then you type reduce the size, bring it over here, then you type it manually. make it equal then duplicate it again then you reduce the size so that it will be equal okay now you can see i'm going to drag it out like this so that it will be more bold to see then you group it ctrl g then go back again and bring this icon for time Then change it to white again. Then paste. Then close the character space. Then make it bigger. Then copy PM, Ctrl V to paste, 
then position it over here. Then zoom out to see how it looks. Then come back to copy your location. Then drag the icon over here. Reduce the size. Now go back to image adjustment and uh, hue and saturation. Drag this one to white. Then control V to paste. Then I'm going to open the character space. Open it again. Okay. So okay like this. Then you reduce the size. Position it well. Then select the boat and use your arrow key or your mouse to drag it down to your desired position. Okay. Now I'm going back here, then draw a rectangle over here, then change the color to red. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Highlight it, copy your text over here, then now you paste it. Now, so this is how the design come out. So what I'm going to do now again, I'm going to this solid color, Ctrl J to duplicate it, then you drag it above the image of the pastor, then go to your blending mode, select overlay, and you reduce the opacity. So now you are going to reduce the opacity so that the solid color will blend with the image. Okay. Zoom out and zoom in to see how the work look like. Then I will group it and rename it thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe So that is all, don't forget to subscribe, thank you.